Last year, uh, vinyl sales have gone up year after year since 2006. Last year, 2010, was the biggest year for vinyl sales since 1991. This year, we're 37% uh, higher year to date than the same period 2010. There's about 12 to 13 pressing plants left in the States. Uh, one in Canada, uh, one in South America, a couple overseas, and, and that's it. Well, the first step in making a record is getting the lacquer disc cut. So that's an aluminum disc coated with lacquer. The sound file, whether it's an analog tape or a high resolution digital file, we prefer 24 bit, gets converted to an analog signal through the cutting engineer's gear. He puts that on a, his lathe, which is basically a, a giant turntable with a huge cutting head on it. That cuts that original groove in that lacquer. And then a reverse image of that side is made. So we get those reverse images, they're called stampers. They're made out of nickel. Uh, an A stamper goes on the bottom of our die, a uh, B stamper goes on the top part of the die. We do the whole assembly. Uh, a lot of our customers drop their art and our templates online. We get the jackets printed, we get the labels printed. We press all sorts of things. We do a lot of color work, uh, specialty colors. So we've done a lot of splatter which is basically a clear record with splattered, uh, got different colors on it. We're pressing records every day, eight to nine hours a day, and Saturdays. We're doing business all over the country. We have a uh, number of customers in Australia. We do business in China. We do business in Canada, UK.